Bhupendra. Bhupendra. Stupid boy. The one time too. The one time I change it. Yeah, I feel your pain. What? Well, remember back in college when I went for that library job? <laughs> yeah, okay there, Miss Christine Johnson. <sighs> well, I'm sure they just love my green hair and nose ring. Shit, at least your foot was in the door. And yours isn't? So you change your name on an application, big deal. Once you get the job, just tell them you underwent a spiritual reawakening and reclaimed your cultural heritage. Yeah, I'm sure she'd love that. <laughs> you know, at the interview was her beaming over the fact that her daughter and I share the same name. So, I couldn't. Firstly, the paperwork wouldn't even add up. Girl, my cousin's been using my number for the past two years. Yeah, but she uses your name too. True. But hey, I've worked in payroll. As long as you give them the right name, you'll be fine. You can be Isha to them and Esther to your manager. <laughs> right, until they call her one day and ask her for Isha Chakrabarti. And then the whole time I'm there, I'd have to go by the name Esther Thomas. Besides, it just wouldn't feel right. My Pitaji named me. Why are you acting like you have friends? Ah, shut up. Thank you. Look at this. All leather interior with a touch screen interface. And it takes voice command. I'm gonna be like fucking kid from Knight Rider in this thing. <laughs> you know kid was a car though, right? Who's the one whose car could fly? Oh, that was uh Dukes of Hazard? Mm -mm. Mm. The time machine and Oh Marty McFly. Marty McFly. Actually more like Marty McBinder. <laughs> Don't even take it down, man. It's just not funny. Oh, come on, John. I take my culture serious. Right. And my name wasn't always John. A lie. What was it? Dean Park, Kunal Sandeep, <laughs> Kumar, Arjan, <laughs> Suki, Patel, Ankit, Gurpreet, Apu, Harbinde. Okay, oh. okay, <laughs> well, this stays here. Who am I gonna tell? Prez Hilton? Who, <sighs> <Ooh>, Pedro? Who, <laughs> Pedro? Who, Pedro, the fucking Prince of Chutney. See, that's why I don't, that's why I don't tell people. Okay, so what happened? Nothing. After my parents died, I went to live with my aunt. She married in a caker money, went from Gurpreet to Janice. And she took you with her, huh? Yeah. Moved out to the boonies, suddenly I'm the only brown kid in class. Mm. Then she figured the last thing I needed was a funny sounding name. Yeah, but John? It wasn't, it wasn't just the name, man. It was... No, no more Desicana, no more Asian Horizons on a Sunday morning. I, I forgot what Madri even looked like until I got the internet. Who? Even right down to how I would talk. My aunt used to drive me crazy with that shit on a daily <laughs> yeah. basis. Straighten up, you not talk like a tapuri, stupid boy. Stupid boy. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you just change it back? It's me now. <laughs> Fuck's that mean? Look, you don't get it. Let's say your name's Jim. Okay. But every day since you were a kid, people called you Tom. What would that make you? <laughs> It'll probably make me a confused motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> with a healthy dose of schizophrenia. Well, seriously, though, it's me now. Besides, like, how would people act if they knew my name was Bupendra? Mm. Would I even have the same job? Talk to the same girls? I don't know, and I don't think I want to know. Besides, I like the way it sounds. John Canning Esquire. Media mogul. <laughs> Yo, these are pretty sick. I don't know. Who paid for these? Work? 
<laughs> you paid for this shit. Yeah. You paid for your own business cards. <laughs> You're gonna be the only junior with his own business cards. Exactly, I'm a go-getter. You're a huge douche! Does a huge douche drive this? Yeah, a huge douche with a small dick. <laughs> Speaking of, you going out with Jules tonight? Yeah, if she smartens up. <laughs> what do you mean, smartens up? A every time I take that chick out, she's complaining. Oh, why do you have to go here? Why not here instead? The problem with Jules is she's a fucking hipster. It it needs to be chic or retro or nouveau or else it just isn't authentic enough. Silver City? No. It has to be some shitbag independent theater where the popcorn's stale and the seats smell like piss or else it just wouldn't be credible. Oh. Jack Astor's? Mm-mm. It's got to be some back alley family-owned restaurant with all organic ingredients and no steroids. Oh, and they need to read the chicken. A fucking bedtime story before they kill it. I took her to a place like that just off Queen last week. <coughs> Guess what she ordered? I have no idea. Fucking burger and fries. I basically paid 30 extra for the same food I could have gotten elsewhere but with crappier service. Hey, man. Like the power. So I'm assuming there's no more dates, huh? Look, I like the girl. She's smart, easy on the eyes, but the vibe just isn't there. Fuck, is it ever? It was. Yeah, you know beating off the Rosa Costa doesn't count, right? Who? Never mind. There was this one girl, man, before I moved away from my old neighborhood. She was beautiful. How old? I don't know, like, 11? 11? Yeah. I didn't even know you could be in love at 11. Who, who said anything about love? It was just a feeling. <laughs> yeah, more like hormones. No, nah, man, this, this girl was different. Yeah, seems like the one who got away. What? You know, the one who got away. We all have them, those girls. Um, We're mad in love with them. It's like that puppy love shit, right? And then we grow older, we see them on the streets, they gain all that fucking weight, and they look like <laughs> trolls. Well, I would have at least liked to have had the chance. So go find her. With what, her old address? Her family moved away years ago, not long after mine. Maybe she moved to the boonies, too. Uh. <laughs> okay, yo, there's got to be some sort of trail. Um, Facebook. Nothing, I've looked. Okay, so she's not the technological type. Um, ooh, I was watching this movie, right? No, 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 listen. I was watching this movie, and basically what you gotta do is write your name on a $5 bill, and you go spend it, and if a $5 bill comes back to you, you go meet her in the middle of a frozen pond. What? <laughs> Why a frozen pond? Oh no, man, that's John Cusack. <laughs> These guys better hurry up, I got a jet soon. It's very change, it's very change. Change. No, but the messed up thing was. Spare change. Look, it's not like I don't try. I honestly feel like. Ugh! <laughs> you know? <laughs> Are you getting out there, though? Love isn't just gonna fall in your lap. You don't know the half of it. This last date I went on, this guy was messing up on purpose. That bad, huh? So we get there, and I swear, this dude was on something. Oh. <laughs> he spent the first 15 minutes trying to translate the appetizer's menu into Spanish. What? Oh, it gets worse. The waitress comes over, uh -huh. and he's literally trying to have a conversation with her chest. Oh, my God. And I mean, I am right there. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> He bombards me with some <laughs> sob story about his ex-girlfriend and how much he misses her and how she moved to Vancouver on him or whatever. Ew. And that is in between his ongoing commentary about women walking by. Oh, too fat. Oh, too skinny. Looks like she smells. Please tell me you're joking. At this point, I'm waiting on a midget in a devil's costume to just <gasps> pop up and stick a fork <laughs> in me. <laughs> but no, this guy was for real. And then came the coup de gras. Oh, Lord. The bill comes. No. Not only does he not want to pay for the bill in full, he doesn't want to pay for it at all. What? Dine and dash on the first date. Not even. That never happened. So we're just sitting there, and this dude just turns around and says to me that he's just going to bounce. Oh. <laughs> so what did you do? I took my wallet out, I paid for my half, and oh. left. Did you thank him for a lovely evening? <laughs> He's lucky I didn't hurl a Bellini at his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. <laughs> at least you have Tyler. Oh. It's 
speaking of which, what time is it? Uh, shoot, hun, I'm sorry, I gotta go. If I'm late again, that boy is gonna kill me. I'll call you tonight. Okay, well, I'm gonna go check what the holdup is about. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, was this one girl, man? She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Share the same the name. The one time. The I one time. I it's me now. It's me now. My dad she named me. And my name wasn't always John. Oh my God, you look so familiar. <laughs> What's your name? John. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I... I gotta go. Isha? Oh, jeez. 